The study of magnetic star planet interactions, SPI, offers a promising approach to determining the magnetic fields of exoplanets. Subalbenic SPI models predict that terrestrial planets in close-ain orbits around M dwarf stars can induce detectable stellar radio emission, manifesting as bursts of strongly polarized coherent radiation at specific planet orbital positions. Observations of the M dwarf YZ SETI, hosting a compact system of terrestrial planets, revealed 24 gigahertz detections of coherent radio bursts, with two bursts occurring at similar orbital phases of YZ set B, suggesting an enhanced probability of bursts near that orbital phase. The magnetospheric environment of the YZ SETI system is modeled in the context of subalvenic SPI, indicating that YZ SETI B can plausibly power the observed flux densities of the radio detections. However, the possibility of stellar magnetic activity cannot be ruled out without a well-characterized rate of non-planet-induced coherent radio bursts on slow rotators. YZ SETI is thus a candidate radio SPI system, with unique promise as a target for long-term monitoring. The detection of coherent radio emissions associated with exoplanetary systems has motivated searches across MHZ to GHZ frequencies as these emissions can probe the unknown magnetic properties of exoplanets. Proposed emissions result from SPI, where dissipated energy powers electron cyclotron maser ECM, emission, occurring at the cyclotron frequency of the source region. Subalvenic radio SPI is expected to appear as bursts of coherent emission with strong circular polarization, lasting minutes to hours with the angular beaming of the radio emission from the star planet flux tube causing the emission to appear as well-defined bursts dependent on the satellite orbital phase. The authors present a study on coherent radio bursts from the known M-dwarf planet host YZ SETI, focusing on the characterization of these bursts and their possible planet-induced origin. Observations were conducted using the Very Large Array, VLA, at 24 GHz in 5 epochs with a total on-source time of approximately 26 hours. The time series of all five epochs, phase wrapped to the 2.02087-day orbital period of the inner planet YZ set B, reveals a range of radio emission behaviors. In the initial observations, the system was undetected in epoch 1, emitted multiple radio bursts in epoch 2, and produced slowly variable quiescent emission in epoch 3. The follow-up observations showed the star to be undetected in epoch 4, with a single coherent burst occurring in epoch 5. The Stokes V dynamic spectrum of epoch 2 reveals an hour-long coherent burst with nearly 100% right circular polarization, RCP, which is distinct from the weakly polarized flare that occurs three hours later. The authors infer a coherent emission mechanism based on the degree of polarization, as non-thermal processes typically exhibit less than 60% polarization. The brightness temperature of the RCP burst at 3 GHz indicates a non-thermal mechanism, likely originating from individual magnetic footpoints in the stellar corona. While the evidence cannot differentiate between plasma emission and electron cyclotron maser mechanisms, the latter is plausible for stellar planet-induced radio emission. The dynamic spectra of the detected bursts in epochs 2 and 5 exhibit a declining spectrum with the brightest emission observed near 2 GHz, characteristic of coherent emission. The authors focus on the RCP burst at 2.3 hours in epoch 2, which is the primary target of their search for coherent bursts induced by stellar planet interaction. The study's findings have implications for understanding the radio emission mechanisms of M dwarf stars and the potential role of planetary companions in inducing coherent radio bursts. The authors investigate the possibility of star planet interaction, SPI, driving coherent radio bursts from the M dwarf planet host YZ SETI. They search for evidence of orbital modulation of bursts to test this hypothesis detecting a one-minute long left polarized coherent burst with a peak flux density of 465 plus or minus 70 mu jy. To assess the SPI mechanism, they estimate the magnetized environment of YZ SETI using two fiducial wind models, Model A and Model B, which differ in their assumptions about the stellar magnetic field and wind strength. Both models find that the innermost planets are within the subalvenic regime allowing planetary perturbation of the stellar magnetic field to induce GHZ emission. 
The authors compute the power available to drive planet-induced radio emissions using the frameworks of reconnection in Alvin Wayne, which depend on the magnetic environment variables and planetary magnetic properties. Figure 3 presents the predicted radio flux density due to SPI with YZ SETI B for the two wind models and interaction frameworks. Under Model A, the Alvin Wing predictions match the measured flux density for a weakly magnetized planet, while the reconnection framework strongly overpredicts the measured bursts. In contrast, under Model B, YZ SETI B could power the emission with the reconnection framework, even without an intrinsic planetary magnetic field. The authors acknowledge uncertainties in these SPI flux predictions, which can affect the accuracy of the results. The research further investigates the Alvin Wing scenario and the potential planetary magnetic field, modeling the flux density and examining their relative timing. Phasing the time series of the RCP burst from Epoch 2 and Epoch 5 using orbital, synodic, and hasonotic periods for YZ SETI B reveals a near orbital recurrence, but no definitive evidence of SPI. The analysis also considers stellar magnetic activity as an alternative explanation, calculating a 5.1% probability of seeing bursts with no association with the planetary system. The mechanisms powering the emission remain inconclusive, and YZ SETI is categorized as a SPI candidate, requiring further follow-up to discern the nature of the radio bursts. The investigation of coherent radio bursts from the M-dwarf planet host YZ SETI reveals two candidate star planet interaction, SPI, events with luminosities consistent with Subalvenic SPI predictions. However, stellar magnetic activity cannot be ruled out as a cause. The bursts exhibit a recurrence pattern with a greater degree of phase separation when considering synodic and hasonotic periods suggesting an orbitally dependent window of visibility for observing beamed radio emission. To confirm SPI, a twofold criteria is proposed. Recurrence of radio bursts at a period dependent on the planet's orbit, and a low Poisson probability of randomly observing events within a narrow phase time window. This probability is based on an average burst rate determined by observing a wide range of orbital phases. Multipitch radio monitoring and complementary observations of the stellar magnetic field and planetary geometry are necessary to test for orbital modulation and distinguish SPI from stellar processes. A comparison of properties between YZ SETI, Proxima Centauri, and GJ1151 reveals distinct coherent radio burst properties for YZ SETI. Radio interferometric observations using the Very Large Array, VLA, detect coherent radio bursts from YZ SETI, with imaging and self-calibration techniques improving sensitivity and accuracy. The resulting images, presented in figures 5, 6, and 7, demonstrate the presence of coherent radio bursts from YZ SETI, with high polarization suggesting a strong magnetic field and potential planet-star interactions. The study highlights the significance of detecting highly polarized coherent radio bursts from YZ SETI, providing new insights into the properties of M-dwarf planet hosts and their potential for hosting habitable planets. Further observations, including longer-term radio monitoring and spectropolarimetric observations, are necessary to determine the orientation of the star's large-scale magnetic field and test for orbital modulation. The researchers present a comprehensive analysis of coherent radio bursts from the M-dwarf planet host YZ SETI utilizing 724 GHz images in Stokes I and V during the left polarized coherent burst in Epic 5. They measure an average flux density of 468 plus or minus 70 mu j y i and 441 plus or minus 55 mu j y v with elevated noise levels in Stokes V attributed to RFI and imperfect background source subtraction. A 24 GHz time series of YZ SETI during part of Epoch 5 reveals a coherent burst exhibiting left circular polarization of 73% plus or minus 16%. The team generates a probability distribution function for model parameters SI and RC, then marginalizes the distribution across SI to obtain a PDF for RC alone. The peak RC value is determined along with a gray confidence interval representing the range of RC from 0.16 to 0.84 in the cumulative distribution function. Dynamic spectra were produced for all of Epoch 2 in a short time period surrounding the Epoch 5 burst, 
using base linearizing code. The peak flux densities in Stokes V for the EPIC-2 bursts at 2.3 hours and 5.1 hours both exceed 5 sigma, as does the EPIC-5 burst. The team investigates the stellar magnetospheric environment to determine if star-planet interactions could have powered the observed polarized radio emissions. They consider two models. A. A magnetosphere defined by a radial isothermal stellar wind, and B. A potential field source surface. PFSS. Extrapolation of typical M dwarf Zeeman Doppler imaging measurements. The radial stellar wind solution is formulated using a Weber wind model, which solves the ideal magnetohydrodynamics problem in spherical coordinates for an axisymmetric equatorial wind propelled by a rotating star. The authors acknowledge the limitations of these models, noting that the magnetic field and wind environments of low mass stars are very uncertain. The radial stellar wind solution overestimates the magnetic field at the planet location, while the PFSS extrapolation may underestimate the strength of the magnetic field at planetary distances from the star. Here is a combined summary of the four pages. The research paper investigates the stellar wind properties of the M dwarf planet host YZ SETI, focusing on its potential to generate coherent radio bursts. A two dimensional isothermal wind model is employed incorporating the stresses of the ionized wind on the magnetic field anchored to the rotating star. Two fiducial models, Model A and Model B, are presented, differing in their assumptions about the magnetic field strength and mass loss rate. Model A assumes a coronal temperature of 0.25 keV, a constant mass loss rate of 10 to the power of 13 m, sun near carat 1, and a radial field of 220 g while Model B uses the same coronal temperature and radial field but a lower mass loss rate of 510 to the power of 13 m, sun year carat 1. The authors utilize the measured large-scale field topology of Proex Sen, scaling the measured magnetic field based on the Zeeman broadening measurement of YZ SETI. The findings are presented in figures 11 and 12, showing that the planetary system is likely interacting in the subalvenic regime with the host star with radial wind velocities of 600,700 km s carat 1 near the location of the planets. The total pressure from the assumed stellar wind is below the magnetic pressure of a 1G field, indicating that appreciable planetary magnetic fields on these planets are likely to carve out their own planetary magnetospheres. The study explores the potential for magnetic interactions between YZ SETI and its planets to power coherent radio emissions, using two distinct models. Model A, with a simple, dipolar magnetic field and a typical wind model. And Model B, incorporating a more realistic stellar field and a lower mass loss rate. The available power released by magnetic reconnection and Alvin Wings is estimated, depending on geometric factors, velocity of interaction, magnetic field strength, and mass density of the magnetized flow. Focusing on YZ SETI B. The authors calculate the power available to generate radio emissions using both models A and B. The study provides a comprehensive analysis of the potential for magnetic interactions between YZ SETI and its planets to generate coherent radio emissions, shedding light on the possible mechanisms behind the observed radio bursts. Here is a combined summary of pages 21 to 24. The authors investigate the possibility of coherent radio bursts from the M dwarf planet host YZ SETI focusing on the star-planet interaction, SPI, scenario. They assume a planetary dipole field strength ranging from 0.89 R-circled plus to 1 R-circled plus and explore dipole field strengths from 1G to 10G. The energy available to power auroral radio bursts is computed using the reconnection and Alvin Wing prescriptions, considering both Model A and Model B wind environments. Equations 3 and 4 are derived to calculate the obstacle radius and convert energy to burst radio flux density. The results are displayed in figure 3, showing predicted flux densities for SPI, which depend on unknown properties such as stellar mass loss rate and stellar field strength. The authors explore the range of mass loss rates consistent with the SPI scenario and the dependence of the SPI power on the assumed stellar magnetic field. The Alvenic Mach number is investigated using the isothermal wind solution, showing that it grows with the assumed mass loss rate. The results imply that if the detected bursts are powered by subalvenic star-planet interaction, the corresponding planet must be within the Alvin surface of the stellar environment. 
The authors conclude that YZ SETI's mass loss rate should be within the bounds derived from their analysis. Scaling the stellar magnetic field strength in models A and B reveals that increasing the surface radial average field strength linearly scales the field at the planet's location and similarly scales the minimum predicted SPI flux density as a function of planet field strength. The author's results are consistent with smaller but non-negligible planetary dipole fields and highlight the importance of considering closed field structures in the stellar field topology. The paper discusses the detection of coherent radio bursts from the known M-dwarf planet host YZ SETI, a star known for its strong magnetic activity and flaring behavior. It draws upon foundational research in stellar radio astronomy, including studies on stellar coronal magnetic fields, star-planet interaction, and the radio signature of exoplanets. The study utilizes various methods such as Zeeman Doppler magnetograms, Hubble Space Telescope Li Alpha Spectra, and astropy packages to analyze the star's magnetic field, wind, and rotational properties. Data from the Palomar, MSU Nearby Star Spectroscopic Survey, CARMENES search for exoplanets around M dwarfs, and M Earth Transit Survey are used to gather information about the star's rotation periods and magnetic properties. The research highlights the importance of understanding the magnetic field of M dwarf stars, as they are key components in the study of stellar winds and rotation. The magnetic field plays a crucial role in determining the mass loss rate of the star, which in turn affects the habitability of any surrounding planets. The observed coherent radio bursts could be indicative of strong magnetic activity and large-scale magnetic fields, similar to those observed in Jupiter and other magnetized planets. The paper also discusses the limitations and assumptions made during the study, including the use of simplified models for the stellar wind and magnetic field. Future work includes refining these models and conducting further observations to better understand the relationship between magnetic activity, stellar winds, and planetary habitability. The study builds upon previous research on radiometric Bode's law, magnetic energy fluxes, and exoplanet-induced radio emission from M dwarfs, as well as the population of M dwarfs observed at low radio frequencies, the test view of low-far radio-emitting stars, and the search for exoplanets around M dwarfs.